Hello, everybody. My name is Graham Elwood, and you are watching The Political Vigilante. I need to tell you how they took my house and six million other people's homes 10 years ago during the last financial crisis, because guess what? It's happening again. This is what happened. The recession hit in 08. I started to fall. You know, money was tight. I couldn't work. I was losing stand-up work. You might be like, well, Graham, you're a stand-up comic. How did that uh, show business shut down? Show business is completely shut down right now during the pandemic. I was doing TV shows. There was a strike. That got shut down. Then the recession hit. That got shut down. I make money doing holiday Christmas parties as a comedian. That all ended. And I was, I had really great credit. I had an over 100, 700 credit score. And I started paying my mortgage a little bit later each month. But I was told, as long as you're not more than 30 days late, it doesn't affect your credit score. So I was like, paying late, ah, the, and, and I was paying like on the 5th, and then the 7th, and then the 15th, and then the 20th, and I was like, God, and they called me. My mortgage was the IndyMac Bank. This is like October, November, I think, of 08. The recession hit in... So the strike happened in show business before the recession. And so that was just hurting me. So then when the recession hit in September of 08, my home lost about 40% of its value over. And I lived in a nice three bedroom, two bath condo, four blocks from the beach in Los Angeles. Great neighborhood. Um, and they, I, they called me up and they said, hey, your, 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 your mortgage payment's late. And I'm like, I'm having a hard time paying bills because I've lost all this work because of the, the recession that just hit. And this guy on the phone, I don't blame this guy. He was doing what he was told to do. He was just some phone service worker, customer service guy, whatever, said, well, Mr. Elwood, actually, if you wait till you're over 30 days late, you then qualify for all these new stimulus plans that President Bush just put into place. So I think even Obama had just been, just won, but Bush was still in office. Obama didn't get sworn in until January of 09. And I was like, all right. So they said, we're gonna put you on a three month forbearance. We're gonna cut your mortgage payment in half. They sent me all this paperwork. At the end of the three months, we're gonna restructure your loan. There's millions of people going through what you're going through, Mr. Elwood. All the stimulus money that President Bush just gave us about $700 billion. This is gonna to go to restructure your loan. I'm like, great, just get me in a smaller mortgage payment, something I can afford. At the end of the three months, so this is, my, I, this is October, I think. Uh, yeah, it was October. At the end of the three months, which was November or December, they said, oh, you don't qualify. And now you owe us three months back mortgage because you were only making half payments. And I was like, you told me to do this. I was like, what? And I was like, Bush and the Republicans, they're so corrupt. Obama gets sworn in. He puts another 700 billion, ended up being over a trillion dollars in stimulus money. I'm like, all right. So I, I Again, they're like, oh, here's the new Obama stimulus plan. Same thing, put you on a three month forbearance. They cut my mortgage like in half again. We're gonna restructure your whole loan. All that back pay that they did, I'm like, yeah, this is why I voted for Obama. His, he's gonna hope and change. The Republicans are corrupt. Same thing happened again at the end of the three months. So now I'm six months behind. That happened one more time after Obama. And then I hired lawyers and they couldn't do anything about it. And they did that deliberately. I found out later, you read Dave Dane's book, Chain of Title, what happened, one West Bank, Steve Mnuchin, the current treasury secretary under Trump, was the head of one West Bank. He bought my mortgage and several mortgage companies did this, but specific, this is what happened to me. Bought my mortgage and hundreds of thousands of other mortgages from IndyMac Bank, and they paid about 30 to 40 cents on the dollar. So they bought my mortgage and looked at mine and said, oh, this guy, Graham Elwood, is in a nice neighborhood. If we kick him out, we can resell his home, make a profit, 
My house was under value on my original mortgage, but they bought it at 30 cents on the dollar. See how this works? So I forget what the loan was. The loan was the, for like, I don't know, six or seven hundred thousand dollars. And my home, I bought it for 550. It had appreciated up to about nine hundred thousand dollars. It was a nice property, real nice, great neighborhood, three bedroom, two and a half bath, hardwood floors, patio, beautiful. When the recession hit, it went from nine to like 650. And I had like a 700 and some thousand dollar mortgage on it. Then they bought it for 30% of that. So they paid two, three hundred thousand dollars for a home that even at the bottom of the market in the crash was worth six and change, six and a half. So they let's kick this guy out of here. Force me. I got turned down. I went to bank. I went to trial. I went to court. I, I filed bankruptcy. I did everything. I asked to see the title, and and some, some. I heard that was happening. Some judges were being honorable and saying, "Well, this mortgage has been bought and sold so many times. If you, lender, can't show the actual title, this guy gets his home." The judge said, "No." I found out later a lot of the judges were on the take. They kicked me out and sold my home. A buddy of mine was living in a, in a neighborhood that got way overvalued and they, and they restructured his loan because his neighborhood wasn't as nice and they knew they would never recoup that investment. So even when they bought his mortgage at 30 cents on the dollar, it still was, the mortgage was still more than what the home was worth. So they went, oh, so they've restructured his loan, but they did this with me and 6 million people. Steve Mnuchin did that. And he donated to Kamala Harris's 2010 Attorney General campaign of the state of California. She had all the evidence, all the evidence, there was numerous articles written on this, to prosecute Steve Mnuchin, and she didn't. He then donated to her 2016 senatorial campaign, which she won. When Trump won, she, as a senator, voted to approve his nomination into Trump's cabinet. That's how they stole my home. And I tell you that story because they're doing it again with this stimulus plan. People that are falling behind on their mortgages, oh, the CARES Act, the COVID assistance, whatever care, blah, 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 plan, the COVID stimulus plan, they're doing it again. Be careful. Do not trust them. Do whatever you can to save your home that does not involve their help. Rent it, Airbnb, I don't know what. Save it, do whatever you can. If, if things are, like sell your home, I don't know what, but they are looking and they're going to steal homes like they did 6 million homes under, this was Obama. Partially Bush, but mainly Obama. Obama could have fixed it. He could have, res had Obama rescued my home, I would have been like, I'm voting Democrat till the day I die. Nope. That's why I will never vote for Joe Biden, in addition to the fact that he's a rapist with dementia. I will never vote for Hillary Clinton because she is corrupt as all get out. She's been on Epstein's plane. Her husband's been on Epstein's plane. They've been to Epstein's resort in New Mexico. Jalene Maxwell was at their daughter's wedding. So any of the Epstein pedophile creeps, I'll never vote for Trump. I'm not voting for them. They're going to steal your home and your business. Watch out. Be careful. Don't trust these banks. Try not to go into debt during this if you can. Be careful. They screwed six, me and six million people over 10 years ago, and they're looking to do it again. Only now they want to grab up everybody's small business and your home. They're not telling you that. Nobody's telling, nobody's telling this story. Have you, have you heard this story before on MSNBC? Did Rachel Maddow interview a person like me? Has Anderson Cooper done it? No, they haven't. Sean Hannity, none of them, none of them. Tucker Carlson, even that guy don't have the fucking stones to have me on his show. They don't want to tell this story because I call out their whole filthy system. I call out their filthy Republicans and their filthy Democratic parties, and I call out the whole system. Pelosi, Mitch McConnell, they're all corrupt. And people like Bernie and AOC give great speeches after they sign off on some filthy bill. Don't trust the stimulus money. Do not trust the federal government. Do not trust Trump. Do not trust the Clintons, the Democrats, the Republicans. Don't trust any of them. They are only at working at the behest of the ruling class and the banks to steal your property because they are so filthy and soulless and greedy, they will not stop. It's time for a general strike. Organize unions where you work. That's the only way we can stop them. Hey, everybody. Like, 
share, and subscribe. Hit the bell notification button and the subscribe button, even if you've done it before because they're unsubscribing many of you every day. Watch the ads all the way through. If you click skip ad, I don't get paid. Also, support us at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood or rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood. Rockfin.com is a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. All my videos are on Rockfin ad free. Thanks for watching.